Hi, it's Deb Putnoy here from Art for a Change Studio in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm really excited to be here today to tell you about my new co course called the Art Activist Toolkit. It's a course that's going to give you the tools and techniques you need to get your message out into the world. And I'm really excited to do this. It merges a lot of my passions as an artist, as an educator, as a researcher. It's a way to help you get everything that you um, need to use to get your message out into the world. So um, I really believe in the power of art to create change and I'm going to teach you some really simple art techniques that you can use to make postcards and t-shirts and pins and posters and so when you're out in the world at rallies or you want to um, create a campaign for an environmental issue or if you're running for a school president in your high school I have the tools for you to use simple um, straightforward techniques to get your message out into the world. So I'm going to teach you how to make um, very simple postcards. Here are some postcards. postcards. Oh, I guess that's the same image. Let me see. Um, here are some different images. These are foam postcards, like a foam printing. I'm going to teach you how to do a technique that's super easy that you can use some um, materials that you have right in your recycle bin that you can use to etch your plate and you can make hundreds of cards or you could make just 10, whatever, whatever you wanna make, but really simple technique um, to make postcards. I'm also gonna teach you another technique to make postcards if you're doing this project with a, a family or as a family group, some other ways that you can make um, postcards that's really fun and easy to do. So postcards is the first thing I'm gonna teach you how to do. The second thing is I'm gonna teach you how to make posters that are vibrant and colorful and use text in a way that gets your message out into the world in a powerful um, way. So um, I'm gonna teach you about painting and colors and how to use colors that um, make your posters really zing and have power. And I'm gonna try to help you understand the potential that a poster has to affect change in the world. If you think of some of the great artists like Shepard Fairey or Corita Kent, some iconic posters that we think about that have made you know, have affected change in the world, I believe, by just being powerful um, tools of visual communication and getting a message that is important to the world. Um, the next thing after teaching about painting posters and postcards is I'm gonna teach you about silk screening t-shirts. Um, silk screening is a really simple technique. This is Make America Draw Again. It's a t-shirt I did, I think, last year. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to do a paper stencil so you don't have to get messy with emulsion or different things to do some um, techniques that are more complicated. This is a simple technique. I'm going to show you how to cut your screen, um, make your screen, and then print off t-shirts. Um, really excited to do that. I love print, printing t-shirts. I love doing self-screening. I had a t-shirt business in high school, which was a long time ago, but I still love the process and it's um, really easy um, to print off 100 shirts get your message out. Um, wearable art is a great way to have people see your message out in the world. So I'm going to teach you how to silkscreen t-shirts and I'm also going to teach you how to silkscreen and make simple hats. This is a hat I made for a rally last year. It's my blue wave hat. And this doesn't have to be uh, political. You can use this for non-political things too. I like to get my message out in, the, in my activist way. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to make silk screen onto this nice furry polar fleece and then how to sew the, I'll teach you how to sew the hat very simply. And then I'll also teach you how to make armbands and headbands if you're, like today it's 95 in Boston, so we would not want to wear a fleece hat um, in Boston today. But um, you can make other things, uh, silk screen other items that you could wear out um, on a hot day. So hot weather hats and um, uh, armbands and uh, headbands. I'll teach you how to do that. And then finally I'm going to teach you how to make some pins. Here I have a pin that um, I made the design for and then I sent this pin out um, to get made at a pin factory um, online. So I will give you the information about how to do that. But I really wanted to teach you how to make pins that um, you could make at home and that you didn't, need a, you didn't need to send it out and it's really inexpensive and fun to make these pins. They're collage pins. Um, you just get the pin back, so you have the backs here. I'm gonna teach you how to make these. So um, you can have a pin making party. You can have an activist art party. So I'll teach you how to make pins, postcards, 
And then I'm going to offer you a couple other bonuses inside the course. The course is going to be inside a Facebook group. So it will be a private Facebook group that only um, people in the course will be part of. Um, once you pay the fee to get into the course, and the first 50 people that sign up for the course will get a super discounted rate um, because I'm trying it out for the first time. and. I'm still looking, I have my hat on here. It looks kind of funny, but I'll, I'll keep it on. Um, anyway, so, so inside the Facebook group, once you pay, you'll get inside the group, and then all the lessons will be video recorded inside the group. They'll be right there. Everything will be separated in units, very easy to find, and there'll also be um, PDF downloads. So say you watch the video, and then you're like, you just need like a sheet, like a cheat sheet to kind of remember what you're doing. It'll have the, what materials you need, the steps that you need to do, things to think about, where you can buy your materials, I'll give you links to that. The material, the materials that you need are very minimal and if you do the um, program with a group of people, um, you can just get like one silk screen and you guys could all share it. Um, so you don't need to spend a lot and I encourage you to have like an activist art party or to, you know, you can do, I've done kids birthday parties, you know, where I silk screen t-shirts. So, you can use these tools in lots of different ways or these techniques. Um, but I'm really, really excited to um, get going on this course. I did, I wanted, I wanted to say was I chose to do it inside a Facebook group because I want to get the course out as quickly as possible and it's the easiest way for me to get the course and the videos to you. Um, if you don't subscribe to Facebook, then I will try to work out another way to do it with you. But for right now, I would encourage you to Join Facebook and you can just, I'll, once you pay, I'll, jo I'll enter you into the group. And then I'll be online weekly to answer any questions that you have, comments, um, things that you want to share in the group. The, the group, you can share ideas or techniques that you found that also help. Um, I also, as a bonus, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about activism and art. Like, what is that? Who are some of the artists that have used um, their activism to get their message out into the world? And how has that affected um, change in the world because I really believe that art has that power to affect change. So join me in the class. I'm really, really excited about this um, course. I have been working on it for a couple months and want to get it out to you as soon as I can. So um, if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email or um, join and join me on the Facebook group. I'm um, really excited about it. So I will see you soon. Okay, take care.